everyone, I'm Freya, and this is my story. Just so you know, I'm the luckiest girl in the world. You'll soon find out why. But before that, please like and subscribe. I was just two years old when my small town dad came to the city and eventually made it big and became a super successful record producer. But even with all that fame and money, he always stayed grounded. Freya, remember, hard work is like a Rubik's Cube. Frustrating, yet very satisfying when you finally solve it. I love Rubik's Cube, Dad. I'm gonna love working hard, too. <laughs> That's my girl. As Dad's business got bigger, he got busier and eventually hired a nanny named Trish to take care of me. Trish was really nice, but she had a tag-along, her chubby daughter Mary. I'm talking, OMG, this girl grabs everything Mary. It was like she had eight hands or something, always poking around my stuff. She wouldn't even leave my cat Fluffy alone. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Back off, Mary. Fluffy is allergic to annoying. Okay, so how about we play? Please, please, please. Sure, you can play with my invisible friend. His name is not interested. Looking at Mary, I wondered how one person could be so annoying. But then one day, I had a golden chance to get rid of Mary once and for all. She asked me where she could wash her stuffed toys, and I very happily pointed her towards the super expensive fish tank, which my dad loved so much. Are you sure? Yep. The fish tank has a special ingredient that'll make these toys squeaky clean. I do the same thing all the time. Oh, okay. Thanks a lot. When the stuffed animals got soaked and sunk in the water, she stood on a little stool trying to fish them out, but accidentally pushed the fish tank on the floor. It was smashed to bits, with water and expensive fish flopping everywhere. Trish resigned after that and left, taking that dumb Mary with her. Good riddance. Life was back on track. I was working hard in school, focused on making my dad proud by achieving top scores. Then I met Ashton, and everything changed. Ashton was my dream guy from the start. Total bad boy, up-and-coming rapper, and just dripping cool. He wasn't rich, but he didn't need to be. And when he wrote a rap for me, I was totally head over heels for him. Yo, Freya, listen close. Gotta let you know. You're my girl. My love for you will always grow. When I see your face, my heart skips a beat. You're the one that makes my life complete. Together we'll shine like stars in the night. Freya, my love, you make everything feel right. Girls were all over Ashton, so I had to bring my A-game if I wanted to keep him. Instead of studying, I started focusing more on my looks and gifts for him. I knew I was overspending. But hey, love makes us crazy, right? Ashton was totally worth it. But when Dad found out, he was not happy. Really? You booked the entire VIP portion of the stadium for that good-for-nothing boyfriend of yours? You know he's dating you just so I would sign him with my record label, which I will not do. Dad, he loves baseball. And please sign him. He's really good. And if you won't, I'll, I'll max out this card. That's it. I'm going to block all your cards. No more money for you, unless it's for a time machine so you can go back to last week and save your shopping money. That boy is a bad influence on you. I couldn't understand why Dad hated Ashton so much when everyone thought we made the perfect couple. Honestly, we could give Zendaya and Tom Holland a run for their money. But I knew Dad would come around eventually. He'd have to. One time, Ashton and I met at school for the winter dance. And the moment I got out of my new Porsche, he had that grin that said he was up to no good. No way, Ashton. Dad got me this just because I cleared my driving test. And he said you couldn't even breathe on my new Porsche. Come on, can't you break some rules for me? All right. One quick ride. Just as Ashton was checking the interior of the car, he triggered the auto drive and the car roared like a lion and crashed straight into the principal's office. What the? No, no, no. This isn't good. To top it all off, Ashton started snapping photos of me next to my wrecked car. Ashton, you are so dead. Me? It's your car. You were driving it. This is for not making that record deal happen with your dad. You are pretty useless. <laughs> While I was freaking out, the authorities showed up. Before I knew it, they had me in cuffs and I was sent to the lockup. While I fumed and cursed Ashton, I hoped dad would come and save me quickly but he let me spend the entire night there. But thank God, the next day, one of dad's guys bailed me out. And when I got my phone and checked my social media, I was shocked. 
my disastrous car pictures were all over the internet. I was dead sure that Ashton had sold my pics to TMZ. My humiliation was now public entertainment. This was bad. Really bad. Stepping into my house, I was totally expecting a dad-sized lecture about the whole disaster. And instead, I found dad crying his eyes out. And then, he dropped a bombshell on me. He'd lost all his money and was drowning in debt. Dad, are you pulling some kind of pretend-to-be-poor stunt to teach me a lesson? Then he turned on the TV, and I was stunned. Dad's company was being talked about on the news and even on Twitter. He had really lost everything and owed people a lot of money. We had to lay low. Like, stay off the social media kind of low until Dad got things figured out. Next thing I knew, I was packed off to middle of nowhere town to live with none other than my nanny Trish and her daughter Mary. Oh no. I was totally not looking forward to seeing Mary, but when a skinny girl appeared at the door, my mind was blown. It was Mary, only slimmer. Well, 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 if it isn't Princess Freya. Seemed like Mary was still holding a grudge about the time she was at my house. If I was going to survive being stuck here, I had to win her over. Uh, hi, Mary. It's so good to see you. So, um, you look great. Wish I could say the same thing for you. Ouch. Next, Mary led me to where I'd be staying. A shared room with bunk beds. Will we be sharing a room? Um, I'm gonna need a separate room. Please? Oh, <laughs> silly me. Why didn't you say so before? She led me up to the dusty attic and dropped my stuff. Your palace awaits, ma'am. Wow. As a kid, she was annoying. Now, she was a witch. This wasn't exactly what I had in mind. But hey, I could see the stars from the hole in the roof as I tried to fall asleep, which was so hard since I missed my comfy bed. I had to join Mary's school, too, which wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. But every day, as soon as we got home, I'd see Trish and Mary getting ready and going to the small restaurant they owned, like warriors. Seeing them work so hard made me think that I had to pitch in. Hey, Trish, do you think I could help out at the restaurant? I'd like to repay you guys for everything. <laughs> no way. We don't need Malibu Barbie there. Um, yes, you can work there. Fine, but just stay out of everyone's way there. I was pretty excited for my first day at the restaurant, but it wasn't exactly going well. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, so sorry. Uh, yes, sir, I'm getting your order. Seeing me struggle so much, Mary assigned me to cleaning, and I was so relieved. Ta-da! All done! I cleaned the plates so hard. Look, I even wiped off the letters from it. I'm doing good, right? Um, very good, Freya. Seriously, Mom? The letters you wiped off? It was our restaurant's logo, stupid! And you used our aprons to clean the tables? What is wrong with you? It's not my fault. No one told me. Why does someone need to tell you something so basic? I don't even know why we're helping you after the way you treated me as kids. Mary, enough. Look, we've worked so hard on this restaurant. Don't wreck it for us. We can't afford to mess this up. Even though Mary's words stung, I knew where she was coming from. I couldn't ruin everything they had built. So I started to push myself harder. Soon, working became my new normal. And you know that very uncomfortable bed in the attic? Now, it seems like the comfiest bed ever. One day, Trish and Mary had a doctor's visit, and I covered for them at the restaurant. Yeah, it was a wild ride, but I survived. When they returned, boy, were they stunned. No way you did the cleanup all by yourself. Did you make the waiters do it? I swear, if they ask for extra money, I'll... They didn't do it. I did it. Oh, uh, okay. Um... Good job. Hey, Freya, I think I know I was kind of tough on you. I'm sorry. Trish, <laughs> it's fine. Really, I remember as a kid, I was a pain to you too. So I guess we're even, right? Yep, you were a jerk. But yeah, we're even now. After that day, Mary and I became good friends. And she even started to teach me everything she knew about running a restaurant. Just when things were looking up, Something shocking happened. We went out to the restaurant one morning to 
find it had been robbed blind. The cash register was cleaned out. Trish was crushed. What are we gonna do? How will we pay the staff? This, oh, this is a disaster. Calm down. Let's figure out who did this first. You have security cameras installed, right? Those, um, those aren't working since last week. Fantastic. Mary, I put you in charge of handling the cameras. I, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I felt so bad for them both, and I really wanted to help. I told Trish how I'd taken some entrepreneurship classes in high school and had a few ideas to turn things around. I created social media accounts for her restaurant and asked all the customers to review us. In the start, things were really slow. But then on the weekend, a crowd turned up. Apparently, one of them was a famous food blogger who gave us a five-star review. And suddenly, it was raining customers. And in just two weeks, we were able to make enough to give the staff their salaries. Epic win, I know! A couple of nights later, I got off a little early from work. But just as I reached home, I heard some sounds in the bushes. I went closer to see Mary having an argument with some boy I'd never seen before. Give me the keys to the restaurant. Your idea failed, and look, we lost all the money. Didn't get a dime from insurance either. All the money? What? I tried getting closer to hear better, but ended up falling on the grass. And when the guy saw me, he ran off. Freya, what are you doing here? Just got back from work and I fell, can't you see? So who was that friend of yours? What friend? Oh, that guy? I don't know him. Just some homeless beggar. Listen, Mary, I know you're hiding something about the money from the restaurant. You can tell me the truth. Did you have anything to do with stealing it? Mary looked so troubled that she broke down and came clean. Yeah, I stole the money from the restaurant with my friend's help to invest in cryptocurrency, hoping to double it. I was sure mom would be able to claim insurance for the stolen funds while I'd make some quick money. But I lost all my investment. But why did you want to double the money in the first place? I can't tell you that, Freya. Just trust me. I'll tell you everything when the time is right. Please, please, please don't tell mom for now. I just need time to sort this mess out. I promised not to tell Trish, but I needed to know why Mary needed the money so badly. And the reason came out in the worst way possible. One evening, when it was just Mary and me at home, she fainted and I immediately called an ambulance. It was at the hospital that I found out Mary was really sick. She had some autoimmune disease which was affecting her kidneys. Oh my God, Mary, does your mom know? She knows about my condition, but she doesn't know I haven't been doing so well lately. That's why I wanted to make quick cash, because I needed extra medicines which are so expensive to keep my condition under control. Please, don't tell her. She's already got enough to deal with. After that day, I was determined to help Mary. I took pictures of all the stuff I'd brought from home, all the designer things I loved so much. I put the pictures on social media to sell them. In just a few weeks, I made enough money to buy Mary's medicines for the next few months. Here you go, covered for the next few months. Oh my God, Freya, it's too much. How will I ever repay you? I never said I wanted it back. Mary gave me a bright smile and hugged me tight. Things were going great, and high school was finally over. And soon enough, Dad came by to tell me his business was thriving again and I could go home. Trish told him about my efforts, and he was incredibly proud. This calls for a celebration. Well, Dad being my dad, threw an incredible party. And of course, Mary was invited. As we were having fun, I spotted Ashton. He had somehow snuck inside and wanted to win me back. And I knew why. Because my dad was rich again. I kept telling him to buzz off, but then he took the mic and sang the lamest song ever. Yo, Freya, hear me out. I'm on my knees, begging your forgiveness. Baby, please, I messed up big this time. Made a foolish mistake. But without you, my world feels so fake. I'm sorry for the pain I caused, I'll make it right. Freya, give me a chance, let's shine our love so bright. The lion, the witch, and the audacity of this dude. I jumped onto the stage and snatched the mic from him. I had my own rap song to sing. 
Ashton, you're a gold digger. What a joke. But I won't let you make me go broke. You thought you had me fooled, but no way. I'm walking away, having the last say. Your greed won't win. I'm out of your sight. You're nothing but a clown. Not worth the fight. Dad, can you kick this jerk out? Saying that, I dropped the mic. As Mary and I laughed watching Ashton being dragged away by security, I suddenly felt her shake, and then she fainted. Thank goodness I caught her just in time. It was all so crazy. We rushed her to the hospital, and there the doctors informed us that Mary urgently needed a kidney transplant. Dad pulled every string, but we just couldn't find a match for her. Until I got tested, and I was a match. When Mary opened her eyes and learned everything, she smiled at me. Freya, you didn't have to do this. Of course I did, Mary. You're my friend, and friends stick together, no matter what. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> From the bottom of my heart. Thank you. We looked into each other's eyes, and I knew, without a doubt, <laughs> that I was the luckiest girl in the world to be able to make a difference. <laughs>